Okay, so charge, pulse, charge, pulse. Oh, there is a zap. <laughs> Any tumor? We treat, yeah, we treat all tumors with electrochemo. There's, um, there's a tumor called a mast cell tumor. Um, and that type of tumor, um, if you, we call mess with it, it can release a bunch of histamine and you can have an allergic reaction. So that would be the one tumor I feel a little nervous about. I think an electro chemo be about a thousand dollars. It requires anesthesia, so um, some clinics do not use full anesthesia. But if I'm electrocuting somebody, this is electrical currents. I have to give them pain medication, and uh, they wake up and the electrical current is gone. But it just to me, it just feels as though some pain medication is necessary and full anesthesia before putting an electrical current, you know, through someone's system. <laughs> I'm really not seeing side effects. No, I'm not, I'm not seeing side effects. You yeah. can have a wound. Okay. Yeah, you can, if, if the tumor necrosis and dies too quickly, yeah, you could have a, a draining wound that could be cumbersome to clean. It's a, a more of a messy situation that can be managed just like any normal wound care. Mm, yes, yes, I do. It is not reported. Uh, there's not, I know there's not reports of electrochemo for bone tumors. Uh, we use it. Um, and I think it's because um, the electrical currents don't penetrate very deep. So, and you would consider bone as deep, but we, um, we treat with uh, bone tumors with electrochemo and we've been very happy. Yeah, so we use two agents, cisplatinum and bleomycin. And generally, I, if I, 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 I use both in almost all my tumor types. I'll use the cisplatinum and the, the bleomycin. Yes, <laughs> yes, very much so. I have a little success story. The owners came in yesterday and they were crying because polka dots hasn't been able to breathe um, out his nose for years. And so um, so he was he's a successful electro chemo story, kitty cat with a, a nasal adenocarcinoma. So yeah, one, all, one treatment. So I started doing local chemo injections and then when electro chemo came out, then I took it to the next level. Local chemo injections, you have to do many injections uh, for the same result. I think uh, electro chemo, a lot of times I can just do one treatment. And so I try to do as minimal, uh, minimal amount of treatments as possible and sometimes I feel I can, can get away with just doing one electro chemo versus multiple series of injections. I really believe that um, electro chemo uh, can help our veterinary cancer patients. I have tremendous results and that's the frustrating part about being a clinician is and not having a university or being a part of a research facility. How do you get that information out to the world when you don't have the manpower or the resources to do so? So, so it's just anecdotal. That's, that's the negative, the anecdotal part of it. <laughs>